Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today we're back in the fixing free Roblox games. We've done this series once before on a game called Line Runner and this time around we're doing it on the racing game. I do not have a scripter for this project yet but I kind of have to get all the ideas I have together first. So I'm gonna master the build, get uh, the whole map real nice and then hopefully we'll uh yeah, no. <laughs> Be able to do a little something something afterwards. The terrain work is definitely not done. I need to add more hills and like just a bunch more stuff. But I think today's video is going to be focused on modeling everything or I guess remodeling everything nature wise. So today we're going to be focused on we need a pine tree, a normal tree, um, a palm tree over here. It looks like the same trees. And then back here, there's some cactuses. So we need cactus, pine tree, palm tree, and uh, whatever you want to call these guys. I'll probably make some color variations and probably use gradients because I just think it'll look better than flat color. I also fixed the ground color and the water color because in the last video, and guys, I will admit this, when I'm rushing, I'm horrible at picking my colors. So, uh, we have like some dark, bright green. <laughs> I know that kind of contradicts itself, but the grass was pretty horrible to look at, but I like how it is now. And, uh, the water was, it looked like, like this, <laughs> this color, but, uh, now it is, you know, more tamed down. Just, uh, just a nice chill water color. So, with that being said, we need to go make a pine tree, palm tree, cactus, and normal tree. Only four assets, and then we're gonna get them all replaced throughout the map and add them in a lot more places. All right, fellas, we are officially in Blender, and we're gonna start out by making a couple pine trees. I don't really think I'm gonna like record the whole process of making every asset because it'll just take a long time, and I don't know how long everything's gonna take all together. All right, guys, so pine tree number one is coming along pretty good. I actually really like how this one turned out. I think I'll still add some cracks in the leaves. Now, to do that, it's just pressing V, and as you can see, you can split it. I do need to add loop cuts so they don't go all the way up that crazy, but this is looking pretty good. I'll probably try to do two of each tree to make sure that we have plenty of variation because currently in the map, it's the same tree, copy and pasted. In fact, it doesn't even look like they changed the sizes of them. Like, all of these look to be the same exact size. So, uh, yeah, we'll be able to add a lot of... I don't even know what the what the right word is. Diversity? <laughs> I don't know. But uh, we'll be able to make this map look so, so much better just by having a few different types of trees and a couple variations in heights, rotations, everything like that. All right, guys, the two pines are done. Perfect. They're looking pretty decent, at least. Uh, this one, I just feel like I have to keep editing it. Like, it... Oh, no, it looks a little off, but for the most part, it's okay. The cactus is gonna take us a total of, like, five seconds, okay? Cylinder, we're gonna make this, like, a wonky thing. Maybe, like, five sides. Uh, so it's just not even, you know? I, I like that, uh, that aesthetic quite a bit better. Gonna grab this top face right here. Drag it on up. Scale it up a little bit extrude scale that down and that will be our main cactus shape and then of course we need to add on the side uh branches i don't know do cactuses have branches i don't even i don't know and just like that we got a little cactus all right let's shade it smooth of course and auto smooth just to uh make it look a little bit better and then i need to fix like the tops because i don't think they need to be that massive they just seem a, a bit overkill. So maybe something like this. I might remake that. But I think, at least for now, this is a good cactus. And I'm going to scale it down and put it over here with our other assets. Hey, I really like how this tree turned out right here, guys. I use the skin method. Uh, if you don't know that, I, I kind of got to make one more tree anyways. Because I'm trying to have two variants of everything. Also made another cactus. Really, I just stretched the first one and deleted one of the, uh, the little cacti arms. But check it out. I'll do this real quick to show you guys how to do this. You just want to go into edit mode with vertices select at center. Go into like an orthographic view and really just click like this. And for this tree, I want to do something like just a, a tall tree. And you just click guys like nothing complex. Something just like this. We'll add that going up. These can go up and this one can go like out and up. And then, hey, I'm going to add one more loop right there. 
click a couple times over here for another little branch now we have a very straight tree of course we don't want it to look just like this because there's just no character to it so we're going to go into edit mode with proportional editing on and we're just going to kind of grab the center drag it back grab up here drag it forward and as you can see a shape starts to happen guys we don't need this to be as big let me go like that try to move these back something like that and as you can see there's a nice shape now this is a bit of a hard angle so let's kind of bring that back and something like this should work all you got to do now is add a modifier called skin which is right here as you can see it's starting to look like a tree and then another thing you want to add is a subdivision surface just to just to help it out a little bit to be fair we don't want it super blocky now what i'm gonna do grab this bottom one Control a to scale i think i'm gonna go up and then extrude and then Control a again so we have like a nice a nice base out here and then you just work your way up scaling whatever you think needs to be scaled whether it's bigger or smaller uh, this can definitely be a little smaller since it's a taller tree something like this would probably work and then you just want to scale these I should probably turn off proportional editing when I'm working in the, the really small areas here uh, We'll go something like that and then of course this does not look natural So we will scale that down quite a bit and you just work your way up by clicking We're clicking on the vertices we placed by the way if, if you guys are confused with what's going on here We're just clicking on the vertices control a to scale them down and you just work your way up until it looks like a like an actual tree as you can see there's a, a bit of stuff that you need to work on a little bit because this does not look that great yet but just take your time and soon you'll have a tree like look at that that looks pretty decent and then i go ahead and apply i'm not actually gonna apply these yet i'm gonna make the uh i'm gonna make the leaves first for those uh guys i just make an icosphere i ain't gonna lie to you right over here mesh icosphere and I kind of, uh, kind of just squish it and shape it in random ways. There is another thing down here. Uh, no, it wasn't down here. It is up here, I believe. Mesh, transform, and random. There used to, I don't know where it went. Randomize, there we go. And now we can affect that, how much it's kind of, uh, you know, weirded. <laughs> how much, how weird we want to make it. So, I like to keep it very subtle, just something like this. And then we start taking this and just squishing it in weird ways, scaling it and everything like that, and putting it up here so we can kind of figure out, hey, where's this branch going to go? Or, I mean, where's this leaf set going to go? But, guys, it's that easy to make trees. I used to hate doing it, but now I actually love it because you can't mess up a tree. Like, you just cannot mess up a tree. It'd be very challenging to do because there's not a... There's no two trees that are exactly the same in nature. So, I wouldn't be too worried about it, guys. If you don't like making trees, you're gonna be alright, okay? I wanna make this one bigger. Put it over here. Yeah, just like that, we are gonna wanna move this point right into there. And we're gonna wanna move this one up some. Alright, those are looking good. Now, let's take this one, give it a bit of a rotation so it's not the exact same. And then we're gonna take this one, Shift-D. And I'm going to scale this down and then scale it on the Z-axis to make it more rounded. Something like this. And we'll line it up with this little branch right here. And just like that, guys, another tree is done. We're going to... Oh, we need to We need to put all this on. <laughs> we'll join those together. Now we're going to do Shade Smooth, Auto Smooth, and turn this down to about 20. Because we do have a, uh, a flatter look for our assets in this game which i usually don't like but i'm trying i'm trying to adapt and learn new skills so there we go we have two of those trees and the the last tree we have to make is going to be a palm tree which uh i'm not gonna lie to you guys that's my least favorite type of tree to make just because it's like uh, just tough i feel like it never looks right but we have all these assets so far which is very very good and now oh gosh i gotta i gotta go to the palm tree finally 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 got the palm trees done i really have a love-hate relationship with palm trees guys let me go ahead and try to shade flat um i personally think the palm tree shade flat looks a lot better so we're gonna shade those flat and just kind of keep that how it be uh maybe we could do shade smooth and let's see our auto smooth can be set to let's try 20 how about 10 
Yeah, I think that does look a little bit better than the fully shade flat. So we are going to do shade smooth at 10 with our or shade smooth and then auto smooth at 10. And I think this is all the assets that we had to make for today. We have our cactus and two types of each of the trees. I need to texture these and then I'll see you guys in studio. Alrighty, we're back in studio with all of our assets and uh, I think the easiest way to start out is going to be the two cactuses and just taking those over to this very small area. Uh, they could definitely be sized down quite a bit, probably about that size. And I'm not too worried about uh, adding the spikes onto them because I just feel like that's really an unneeded touch for the look I'm trying to go for anyways. So. We're going to kind of place these around. They are super, super bright uh, in comparison to the old ones, but uh, I don't think that's like a huge problem. But partially in this game, I do want to like, of course, add on my own twist. So maybe some oversized low poly assets would be pretty cool. It would definitely separate it from the original map. They were going for more of like a real vibe, but uh, I don't know. Trees like this, yeah, I'm just not really a fan. However, trees like this, I think they look awesome. So it's going to be definitely a, a weird mix of assets. And I'll have to color correct all the terrain once again, I believe, to make it match up really nice. But I do just feel like this is a lot more fun looking than this or this. Like, just personal preference here, guys. So I'm going to place all of these and then we'll see how the map's looking. Hey, so I've got all of the trees placed now, and of course we still need to fill in this whole area back over here, but I need to do more terrain work, and I don't really have time to do that today. Now, do the trees match the game? No, not at all, but we're gonna get it all as a cohesive awesome masterpiece of a game at the end of everything okay guys so each video it'll start coming together more and more but i do like these trees i think it adds a lot more fun element to the game and we might need to switch terrain colors again uh keep in mind guys i'm a very low poly builder if you're new to the channel i never use roblox terrain so i'm trying my best but uh, i definitely think we can do quite a few good things with this but for today, all of the trees and nature assets were remade. I did see these while I was going, these ferns. Uh, you cannot see those when you're playing the game. Like, who's looking for those? So, I'll probably just delete those. And if I want to make some, like, bright colored ones, real low poly ones, I think uh, I may do that still. But over here, the beach looks so much better. This is going to have to be even taller. And a massive waterfall is going to look awesome. I don't know exactly what we're going to do in next episode. But I do know it's going to be awesome. So, if you guys want to see more content like this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.